Shamaran recently announced a major acquisition with Marathon as the counterpart. Uh, could you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, Shamaran is a company that, uh, that operates in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. We've got 20% in the uh, Atrush oil field and recently we uh, acquired a 15%, an additional 15% from Marathon Oil. Marathon has got a, um, an objective to um, <coughs> retract in the United States, in the, in the shale oil play, and uh, this opportunity came about. Uh, the acquisition is 60 million US dollars, and for 60 million US dollars, we bought uh, Marathon's interest in the reserves in Atrush, which is a 15 million barrels additional reserves. You've been on a global roadshow for the past 10 days in order to attract interest for a new bond issue that you're undertaking. How has the interest uh, been so far? Yeah, the, the, the bond, <coughs> in conjunction with the Marathon acquisition, we have got about $186 million of outstanding bonds. So altogether to finance the Marathon acquisition and to refinance our existing bonds, we are on the road for a, a new bond uh, of $240 million. Um, the interest in the bond is quite large. We have uh, road showed in, uh, in London, New York, Hong Kong, Singapore, with very good interest. And uh, the bond book building goes very well. Your Atrush field in Kurdistan has now been in production for almost a year. How do you foresee production develop over the next 6 to 12 months at Atrush? Yeah, the real development story and why we like Atrush very much and why we bought an additional 15% interest in, in Atrush is that the Atrush field has got the, the potential to grow in production and we can pay, pay for that grow in production uh, out of cash flow. Currently we are producing about 24,000 barrels of oil per day, but by July we will get additional well capacity on stream, which basically takes us way above our 30,000 barrels of oil per day facilities capacity that we have installed. And we are very hopeful that we can start testing the limits of these facilities and to go over 30,000 barrels of oil per day. And our aspiration is to be by the end of 2019 at about 50,000 barrels of oil per day by not only testing the facilities to its limit, but also making capital investment to make sure that the bottlenecks that we find in the facilities are taken away and get us to 50,000 barrels of oil per day. And then of course the long-term aspiration is to get to 100,000 barrels of oil per day by making additional investment in facilities. And those facility investments you probably see in 2020-21 to get ourselves to 100,000 by 2022.